Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Conversion of Lifeboat Hooger. We're catching up on the stuff I've been doing this week and we'll be showing how we finished off the engine hatch. Hope you enjoy. As you can see I'm back on the roof just to show you what I've done with the roof for the wheelhouse as I filled in the gap where the old hatch was and put a new hatch in over the helm station so fresh air more light in the wheelhouse and um, it's coming together nicely I still have to do the side windows but again we need more steady we uh, weather because we've had some nice days but they're expecting more rain and I don't want stuff to get wet inside really the other thing you might notice is that I've taken the sprinkler pipes off the wheelhouse the remnants of the back bits are there and over that side um, I'm going to reuse them as a grab rail around the boat some of them um, and put some shorter grab rails on either side of the wheelhouse I thought I wouldn't bother but I think it looks nicer it's a bit easier to climb out of the um, hatch if needs be and also it'll be handy for tying things too because you never know and uh, so I've ordered them they will go on once I've painted everything because the more stuff I put on the more things you have to paint around which only makes things more awkward so that's one of the things I've been doing here going from the wheelhouse on the boat to the bow of the boat and the tiny little foredeck we've got uh, it's another big job I've been doing which is sealing up the hole that was quite big it was from there till the edge is there where the old, the, uh, old hook for the uh, lifting mechanism was um, coming through the deck and I sealed it up with gaffer tape and it's nothing as permanent as a temporary solution but I thought that needs sealing up if we do take the boat anywhere it's nice to know that she's water tight and not just relying on bits of gaffer tape to keep her safe and keep the water out so that's GRP I chamfered back the edges on it and then filled it with layer of glass matting and um, GRP and then used some thickened GRP you might be able to see that I still got quite a few pinholes but I just used some thin filler for that and that won't be a problem so this is the um, sound insulation we're going to use and um, it's foam, neoprene foam which doesn't take on any water with a reflective silver foil on top of it to reflect the heat and I'm probably going to use two layers of this because this is 10 mil um, if you want proper soundproofing you want something really heavy to basically deafen the sound but I don't want the um, engine hatch to be too heavy and so this is why I'm using this so it's a sticky back plastic thing um, in my experience they do tend to fall off after a certain amount of time because of the heat and the oil and whatever is in the air in an engine room but we'll start with it like this if it does decide to collapse I'll just use some um, polyurethane to get it back on again which is not a problem I will be using two layers just to make sure I've got maximum thickness as you can see I cut this bit to, pit, to uh, size and that should do the job back comes actually back because as you can see it's been a bit of a hoo-ha
to round off today's video i'll show you the finished engine hatch um, well the underneath is finished because the top will still need some doing to it like painting put the sound insulation in and it opens on the back end to get to the water the oil for the gearbox and the oil for the prop shaft and then the middle part stays put most of the time and then the front bit will get me to the water and the oil and the dipstick for the oil for the engine and it makes it a lot more workable than having the one big hatch hope to see you next week bye